In this video, I have a Warmind Cell build that allows you to destroy absolutely everything. You'll clear rooms with the click of a button, and you'll always have access to more Warmind Cells. And guess what? It's not class specific. So you, yes you, can make this build on any character. Stay tuned to learn more. Hey, what's up guys? If it's our first time meeting, I'm Marshix and I make Destiny 2 guides, builds, and more. So if you enjoy my videos, hit like, and only if you enjoy my videos, hit subscribe and stay up to date with all my other Destiny 2 content. Now without further ado, let's get into the build. As the intro said, you can do this on any class. This is actually an updated version of my old Cellular Inferno build from last season. Let's start with the weapons you're going to need. Well, it's a Warmind Cell build, so you'll either need a good Seraph weapon or Ikelos weapon. My favorites are the Seraph SMG and Sidearm, or the Ikelos SMG or Shotgun. Any of them will work, but honestly, the 7th Seraph SMG is my favorite. It feels so much better than the Ikelos SMG, don't yell at me in the comments. Actually yes, do that, comments help with the YouTube algorithm. I also want to pair this with the Heritage Shotgun from the new raid. It's good for major enemies and bosses but it's also amazing for shooting Warmind Cells. One shot and... Now onto the mods. If you don't have any of these, check the video in the top right corner of your screen. First up is Global Reach. On the off chance you haven't seen this mod before, this greatly increases the distance of the explosions of Warmind Cells. This blast radius is actually insane. Just one of these will truly clear rooms of ads. If it doesn't, well don't worry because there's more. Rage of the Warmind adds solar damage to explosions of Warmind cells. I know that doesn't sound great, but we want to pair that with Wrath of Rasputin. This allows solar splash damage to spawn Warmind cells. Yep, spawn a Warmind cell with your Seraph weapon and then pop it, and as long as you get 5 kills, you spawn another one. When you think about it, it's technically an infinite combo. We still have room for 2 more seasonal mods, so why don't we throw in some Charge with Light stuff? Since I use an SMG, I run Swift Charge to become Charged with Light with rapid SMG kills. I then use that Charged with Light to get, depending on the situation, Protective Light, Lucent Blade, Reactive Pulse, or High Energy Fire. Protective Light keeps you alive when you almost aren't. Lucent Blade makes Lament and Falling Guillotine even more busted. Reactive Pulse makes you pulse with Arc Energy after getting meleeed. And High Energy Fire increases damage of all your weapons. To maximize our Warmind Cell output, we're running Solar Subclasses so we can proc Wrath of Rasputin with grenades. Titans use either Thermite or Incendiary grenades, Warlocks use Solar grenades, and Hunters use Incendiary grenades. Throw Impact Induction on your gauntlets to get grenade energy from melee damage, and you have grenades for days. For the exotics, you can really use anything. The main focus of this build is all in our mods, so you can choose your favorite exotic to pair with it. We just use our Seraph weapons or solar abilities to spawn a Warmind Cell, detonate the Warmind Cell, and then the explosion should spawn another one. Then just repeat until everything's dead. If you enjoy this build, or if you have any suggestions for any other builds or guides, let me know in the comments. I hope this video helps you out. If it did, why not help me out by liking the video and subscribing if you want more. Thank you all for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.